Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And I know you thought I was supposed to be in America right now. Well, unfortunately, I didn't make it. I had the wrong visa. Wah, wah. So now instead, I've come to the beautiful, one and only, sunny Wales. Can you believe it? There's actually blue skies in Wales. I'm over here with my old friend, Jamie. Oi, oi. I'm my new buddy, Chip, over here. Oi, oi. We've got ourselves a little extension here, courtesy of my good friend, Rob. A little extension here to do. Tricky's got his corner up. We're all set out. We're gonna get this round, ready for backfilling today. Happy days. So there's Tricky's corner. I've done a bit of a coin with it because eventually this patio is coming all the way out to the end of the job. So this section here can all be block work, but some of these bricks will be seen as they come out. We've got another course of blocks going on the top of this bit. Then it'll be brick all the way across because that's all going to be seen. This front face will all be brick down here. So yes, yeah, let's crack on, get these subs in first of all. Right the way through, we've got a datums all set up there. We've got a laser set up over here, right out of the way. So let's get this bad boy running. Here we go, we're getting up there now. A few blocks either side. We've got a 350 cavity on this one. So I've gone solid up through there. We're gonna set out our 350 on top of the next course, just below dam. We haven't got quite so much aggregate going in there. It's more solid block. So that'll be stronger. Now it's time for 10 o'clock tea break. So quite a uh, successful first few hours over here. We've got ourselves up to this level. Inside and out, all set out, cavity set out, lovely old job. Boys are gonna come in and backfill that tomorrow. Ready for concrete. So happy days. Stage one almost complete. The next day. Subs are all in, concrete floor is in. We are ready to build. The weather's not its best, but we've got a gazebo if we need one. Come on. So we're staying dry. I'm going to get a few bricks down on here. I'm using the pick and dip method at the moment. Just enough on the trail for one brick. Pop it on. Use the muck. But it's okay. We're rolling it. Line. <laughs> no, I'm going to go too mad up this way, I'm not even honest actually, because it's cool and the quick work's going to get wet here. We've got helicopters on this job, ladies and gentlemen. It's also soaking wet, absolutely pouring down with rain. From under here, overhanding this corner up. If you think about things, you can always get some work done. And ladies and gentlemen, Tricky's got himself a new level. Have a look at that. Nice stabila. Lovely. Does he know how to use it? That's the question. What are we saying? I got the job.
here we go. So far we have where with the doors going up, bifold doors going in here, and a big window. She's looking good. All the overhang work done for a bit. Get her insulation in. But we're all set out. Lovely old job. We're getting up there with the corners now. Chips up there doing a little reveal up there. Lovely old job. But we're luckily, we have a man coming with some trestles for us. So we're gonna get all the outside up to the top because tomorrow there is forecast torrential rain. So our plan is get the outside up, the brickwork done today. Then we can put this contraption on top of the brickwork and do our block work under cover. Oh yes. Getting some height to it now. Just taking this overhand piece up now. Lovely. I've got a good view of my darlings from here. There they are, look. Ain't they lovely? Right for the picking. There we go, all up to lintel height on the ins on the outside, sorry. And over this side, along this flank here, the over the overhand flank, we've got that up to full height other than well there's a plate going on the inside. I've gone round with a brickwork. It's looking good. Alright, we're going around with our four inch damp now around the inside. We've got to get some insulation board, but we get a couple of courses in, first of all. We can slide a board in and use our buttons that we have here. It's pouring down with rain again, but we're under the gazebo. Come on. There we go, up to lintel bearings. Through here, insulated up. To set up a bit of a scaffolding out here, ready for when we put our linton across. A couple of sway braces on there as well, keep it rigid. Got the big heavy duty 3.3 metre catnick lintel and a 2.7 metre catnick lintel. Got to wait for these pads to go off a bit before we slam them on there because they are very heavy. Just the plate to go on. We've got that big bad boy lintel up there. And now the big, big one. 3.3 CX 150 STD. <laughs> Gonna get him on here. Right, I'm up here now. I just made a short video. This isn't how to do a weep hole. I'll take that back out. You have to get them down to the plastic. No muck underneath them at all. Push them in there like that. Then you know they're good. Then the brick goes in. There we go, bricks on, plate on, cavity nice and clean. So that's that flank, all sorted. Now, on to the next one. Thank you. 
So ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. The extension's up to plate. Lovely old job. We've also got a couple of other little bits to do here. We've got a rock face wall that we've got our first course on through here. And then we've got five courses here to do where it's retaining wall parties. We've got the footing underneath there. Five courses coming through here. Level this up all for a nice new patio. Incorporate the new steps. We're going to put some new slabs over them and stuff as well. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. And if you want to see us go back in the next episode and go and see the swimming pool job, what we're going to be continuing with, I hit the notification button. But until the next one, ladies and gentlemen, peace out and pow. Look at that out there. It's like Tinder. You. Yeah.